The awards season is in full swing, and last night, the Critics' Choice Awards was in the spotlight. Marcus Allen is in Hollywood. Mark, many years ago, started the Critics' Choice Award with you and, what, another 12 of your best friends? Is that how it all rolled out? Yeah, we could all fit around one table. Uh, a big guy in Hollywood named Sam Rubin had the idea to start this and pulled me into the room. It was 12 of us now. It's over 600. The most diverse group of critics in North America. We are the Broadcast Film Critics Association. Our show, the Critics' Choice Awards last night, was amazing. Look, I, I know I'm biased, but I'm going to tell you it was zero political. It was hysterical. Chelsea Handler crushed it. Best picture last night went to Oppenheimer. And so I think it's going to be for the Academy Award. It also took for Best Director. I sat down with Christopher Nolan both at the premiere and caught him right when he got off stage last night to talk about it. Take a listen. Yeah, for you, I know each and every one, they're your babies, but yeah. what makes you most proud about this? Gosh, uh, I'm really proud to be involved with, I mean, trying to bring a great story to, to the screen, uh, you know, a true story. Uh, it carries a lot of responsibility with it, but I'm very proud to be associated with the story and with the great work of the actors who, who took it on. Killian, obviously, at the heart of it. Uh, you know, somebody I've worked with for 20 years, to see him take on this leading role and just bring the audience with him. And of course, he's talking about Killian Murphy. I honestly, yesterday, would have told you Killian Murphy was going to win Best Actor. He didn't. There was an upset. It was Paul Giamatti. So I don't know how that's going to shake out at the Oscars. Uh, a fun thing that happened last night, because the speeches went long. They started to cut things from the show. Barbie won for Best Comedy, but they didn't feature it in the show. Came back from commercial break. Chelsea Handler went on stage and said, hey. Screw you guys. I'm going rogue. How dare you not let Barbie make speeches? Brought Greta Gerwig, Pride and Joy of Sacramento, and Margot Robbie uh, on stage to give some speeches. I was just coming back from the bathroom when this all happened, so I apologize for my shoddy camera work. But there's the moment as it's going down, and uh, that caught everybody off guard. Steady cam operator was still on stage. Greta gave a remarkable speech, and it was amazing. Now, my organization, the Critics' Choice Awards, we also give out the See Heard Awards for women's empowerment. And this year we gave it to America Ferreira. She took the stage and she gave a speech that is almost, if not better than her speech that she gives in Barbie. That will be recited to the end of day. It's amazing, as was her speech last night. I can't wait to share it with mm. you. And I will. Follow me on Facebook. It's Mark S. Allen Show. The reason I'm rattling on about mm -hmm. all this is because right over there in two months, it's the Academy Awards. Oh. I think Oppenheimer is going to take better best picture that's my only solid lock for right now okay so uh i guess that answers the question uh, two things you is there a particular moment from the night I mean, you mentioned a couple but one that really mm -hmm. stood out to you Oh, yeah, there is another one. So year two of the Critics' Choice Awards, we gave a Lifetime Achievement Award to George Lucas. And again, it was like 20 of us at that point in a room, and he showed up. Last night, Lifetime Achievement Award went to Harrison Ford and just the real showcasing the 60-plus movies that he's made through the years yeah. and the impact he's had right. with Raiders of the Lost Ark, of course, the Star Wars, uh, and, uh, so many other movies regarding Henry and a long other list. So just seeing that. And him taking the stage saying, I'm looking out and I'm just proud of where Hollywood's going, saying there are people that when I first started out wouldn't have been given a choice, uh, an opportunity, mm -hmm. now being given opportunities. Just shouting out to diversity in film. Sure. Uh, wow. he, he gave a really moving speech. As for Best Picture, I would like it to be Maestro. I love this movie. Maestro. Almost one of my favorite movies this century. Uh, I do think it's going to be Oppenheimer, though, at the Academy Awards. Okay. Awards. Back to you, sir. Marques Allen, very cool outfit, and you have a lot of cool <laughs> friends that you take pictures with he too. Does. All right.